Hi, my dear students. Welcome back. I hope you're having an awesome day. It's an awesome day. We have our health. We can see and we can learn new things every single day, right? But anyways, on this lecture here, I'm going to show you how to format a piece of text using HTML. HTML is super easy to learn. Once you learn how the major components work, that's it. Then all you have to do is just learn the tags, just learn the HTML tags, all right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to right click on this sidebar right here and I'm going to create a new file, a new file, and we're going to call this paragraph because that's what we will be creating. It's going to be super easy and we're going to name it with paragraph.html. So let's put that extension there, .html. There we go, all right? So the only way that you will, able, you will be able to see an HTML file is if you have an extension, that .html extension. So make sure that you have an H, .html or .htm without the yell. Either of those will work fine. All right. So once you have this file made, let's go ahead and create some text. This is a sentence. I'm just going to create some random text here. Dot and save. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut command S and every time I say command S for Windows users is control S for of course the S is for saving and or you can go to file and then save from there alright so let's go ahead and see this on the browser let's go and click this little lightning symbol here that's gonna be a live preview actually and when this um, co-editor does this to you like it's doing to me right now you see I'm, tr I'm clicking it and it's not working that's when you really close this without saving it you just close the co-editor that's what I did uh, before I closed this and I reopened it and it did not work for me so what you need to do is just quit it come back to it and now you can preview in the browser right so when it crashes on you like this that's because you did something wrong all right and just turn it off and turn it back on right so anyways you see the sentence right here I'm going to show you a little trick that we, us developers use to see the file the markup the HTML in the back of this page right here a paragraph that HTML because right now we are seeing the representation of that code right in the background we are seeing that representation here in text now we didn't put actually any code there but our browser detects that this is a .html file, is an HTML file, and it will, by default, put some code in there. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click it and inspect element on it. And as you can see, by default, without doing anything, our co-editor, not co-editor, but our the browser already put a .html tag here and a, heading, a head tag and a body tag. By default, it does that. All right? Now... We have here what is called an unformatted text. This text has no style. All right. So it is showing it to us because it is just text, but it's not formatting the text. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to format the text. And once we format the text, then it's going to be, and we're going to format it using HTML, of course, tags. So let me show you how easy it is. So we can use many different tags to format this text with HTML. I'm going to use a P tag, and this is what it's called. And just type in, and I'm going to undo this. Type in a left angle bracket, following by the character P, and a right angle bracket. And the co-editor will finish it off for you. And what the co-editor did was finishing off the closing tag. This is a closing tag. All right, so we're going to wrap this text unformatted text into p tags every every tag in html almost er, almost every tag has a opening pair of tags here right well actually one tag this is one tag and a closing tag and how do you know the difference well the closing tag always has a forward slash right so we wrap any text in tags in this case I'm using p tags because I want to format this text as paragraph right and these p tags are gonna do just that it's gonna give me some styles that are gonna that are going to represent a paragraph in the browser right I can use other tags and I'm gonna show you in a minute but let's go ahead and save this all right and as you can see right here we have no styles in the right hand side this is the user agent 
all right? So we have no styles for here. When I refresh it, now if I go to the left side and I click on this little arrow to go inside the body tag, and I go to the P, you can see that this user agent already is displaying some styles here. So we got some styles going on. This, uh, this is the styles right here on the right-hand side, all right? So this tool from Google Chrome allow us to see the markup and styles and a lot of other information that we can uh, later on when we get more advanced we can look at but right now know that this is the markup and this is the the style so if I put my mouse over you can see the space on top and in the bottom by that color orange there all right and that space is just a margin that's a the CSS style all right so if we wanted to format this text in another tag, we could use another tag. We can just go ahead and use an H1 tag, which is heading. That's the top level tag. That's a heading. So if I refresh, now you can see that the text changes. And if I put, if I click here, you can see that the styles are different for H1, the default styles. Later on, we are going to be able to override this the default styles for h1 to whatever we want we can change the color the size and everything we want with css all right just know that so as you can see here we're formatting the text using a different tag and that's all it is for html so all you have to do basically is learn the different html tags later on i'm going to show you the most popular tags and once you learn the, the most popular tags you will be able to pick up HTML really quickly, all right? Because that's all you need. Once you learn the general tags, then you can look up every other tag out there. I will not be able to show you all the HTML tags in this course since there are so many of them and you will learn them as, you know, as when, when you learn HTML. As you, you learn HTML every day and you will learn those tags every day as you use HTML. But believe me, you will not use all the tags of HTML ever. All right, there are too many of them, but you will use the general ones. And on the next lectures, I will show them to you. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. It was a pleasure, and I'll see you in the next one.